and I'm speaking today about the sun in Cancer. When the sun is in Cancer, we bring that fiery quality of the sun, which is about purification and burning off the impurities of our separate identity and our, you know, personality and those things that are less um, universal about our nature and brings them into the quality of cancer which is emotional, uh, psychological, uh, cancer is ruled by the moon which has a lot of, which uh, goes through a lot of changes but it's also quite, you know, sensitive and intuitive and related to things that are, um, you know, more uh, internal and psychological and emotional related to the family, related to connecting to the heart. So you'll see that, you know, both in, when the sun goes through cancer in the sky and when someone has the sun and cancer in their natal chart, um, the person will be very, or you know, it'll be a time, if it's a transit, where we're really looking to connect with the heart and those structures and those foundational, um, you know, embodied um, emotional structures in our life, which, you know, often includes our family, our children, our relationship with our parents, both parents, but perhaps the mother a little more, because we really get our sense of belonging and connection through the heart with our mother archetypally and you know mainly it's the quality of our nurturing some of us didn't have a mother so that quality of nurturing and that sense of belonging that comes from how you were nurtured is related to the mother and the moon which is the ruler of cancer and by extension the sign of cancer so this emotional component and the connection to the heart that we all need to feel becomes very important when the sun goes through cancer each year. And again, of course, when someone has this in their natal chart, when the, the sun is in the sign of cancer in their natal chart, this need to feel that sense of consistent power in their life will flow through the heart. They will find their core vision and integrity and really sort of solar purpose in life by connecting to the heart. And you'll often see people who will be great nurturers in life. They'll be, you know, um, interested in providing emotional support for others. Um, but they also might change that how that emotional support comes out quite a lot because again cancer is a sign of changeability right it's ruled by the moon and the sun of course is where we want to have consistent vision the consistency of the sun um, it, when it's in cancer let's say in a natal chart it's a little out of its element for sure it's out of sorts a, a little bit because our sense of, of direction and the integrity of our direction and the clarity behind it will be prone to the whims and fancies maybe of our family and of others and of our own emotional state there's a lot of longing with the sign of cancer. It sort of really represents the longing in our heart, the longing to merge with the heart. And so, again, as I say, it, discuss, it, it um, connects that soul's purpose and vision with our emotions and our feelings, but it can also have our... soul's purpose and vision and our sense of duty and purpose be quite changeable if we're not anchored in the heart. And um, so when a person has cancer, son, they will need to really check in with their core emotional integrity um, and what's 
foundational and fundamental in their heart first. Otherwise, um, and, the, and that means their core emotional integrity, not the emotional integrity or the core feelings of everybody around them, of their family, of their of trying to please others, of trying to merge with others. This is where it gets difficult. Because again, as I said, the sun is where we're, where we're trying to follow our own vision, our own true path. And when our own true path and our own true power is in an area of life that revolves literally around the feelings of others, which is what cancer is, there can be that confusion. So in the natal chart, sun and cancer, it's very important for someone to really find their emotional core and really find that thing that's deeper than the emotional center because the emotional core is actually not emotional. My guru Amachi says love is not a feeling, it's a flow. So connecting to the love that's deeper than the emotions is important especially when any planet is in Cancer, but with the Sun, because the Sun is our truthful identity underneath the personality, it becomes even more important. So our personality is lived, and, and those qualities of our unique ascendant, of, of our ascendant, and our, our, um, is our unique self in this lifetime. I said that really <laughs> clumsily. Our unique self is shown by those qualities of the Ascendant in this lifetime. But our universal self, beyond just this lifetime, beyond just the unique identity and the unique, uh, you know, the unique personality of this lifetime, is shown by the Sun. And so, that core integrity, that's a key word for the Sun is integrity, which is that consistent identity underneath everything where we don't lose ourselves in all of the different roles that we play that's one of the ways to recognize it when we don't know ourselves and when we don't have a core identity we lose ourselves in, in the different roles that we play I'm this one's father this one's son this one's partner this one's employee this one's boss and because we're more comfortable in certain roles, we tend to do that role more. Because we're more comfortable at work, we want to be the boss at home. Or maybe we're more comfortable being the father, but not the husband. And we're more comfortable being the boss, but not the employee, or whatever it is. Instead of just floating in and out of roles, with that core integrity and that core identity behind it, where we're not defined by our relationship with others. So ultimately the Sun leads us to that core identity. And when it's in Cancer, that core identity implies a necessity to go deeper than just the surface of the emotions and deeper into the heart and the truth of that flow of love itself.